A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my negativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea. Speaking to you all in the month of December 2019, where I am reaching out to my atheist brothers and the doubters and the skeptics and the atheists with my Christian right and a fellowship throughout the international community, whether they be in Trinidad in my own country, throughout the Caribbean, and throughout the international country, wherever they are on the earth, in whatever, in any, in whatever country they are, and <coughs> I am reaching out unto them with my Christian right hand of fellowship, teaching them that God exists, teaching them that God is real. And the universe is intelligently designed by God. And God is a master designer because in the book of Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the physical universe is a, is, is a proof that God exists with his intelligent design. And the resurrection of Jesus Christ is real, the Bible, the holy words of God. The divine revelation of God given unto mankind. Brothers and sisters, having said that in mind, in this part two video, I already put out a, a, a first part one, but I didn't title it part one. So this will be part two. Dear brothers and sisters, I have been watching my 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 American brother or my British brother. I think he's American, Dan Barker. He said he was a minister for years. But after he lose faith in God, he lose faith in God and he threw out his Christianity outside the window with the bathtub and the baby outside the window. He threw away his Christianity. He don't believe in Jesus Christ and the Bible God because he started to find fault with God and saying that God is a dictator and God is a monster and that God is a God of injustice. How he could, in, in, how he could instruct Joshua to go and kill all the different tribes like the Marcais, the Am Amalekites and the Marcais and the different tribes in the land of Canaan and all sorts of flimsy excuses he have used to say that God is not a just and a holy and a righteous God and now he is criticizing the Bible and saying it is not a holy book and that the God of the Bible is not true and all sorts of things that he's saying brothers and sisters that the book the Bible is a book of fictions and all these things and he's finding fault with the Bible in this part two video, Dan Barker has put out a silly book in the public domain and the name of that silly book, brothers and sisters, hear the name of the silly book. It is so laughable, brothers and sisters. Hear the name of the... Well, it's not laughable, it's very serious. But I'm just using that term to show you the stupidity about the book. Hear what he, hear what he say. Hear the title of the book. God, the most unpleasant character in all fiction. First, God is the God of supreme reality and God don't deal with fiction, God deal with real. So right there, right there you don't know who you off track already. You off track right, right there already. The most unpleasant character in all fiction, <laughs> he doesn't know that God character is supreme righteous and supreme holy. You see, he doesn't know that. He think by do, putting out the silly book in the public, to me, he think he will he will hurt God. Yes, he he, he, he think he will he, he'll be hurting God, and um and upsetting God. It's true, God is a living being. It's true, God is a living being, brothers and sisters. And what he have wrote, it will hurt God. God is a yes. Yet all you don't believe God is a God will be hurt. Well, uh, in the book of Genesis, here what God said when he saw the corruption of man. And the whole earth was corrupt. It grieved him to his heart that he make man. So you see, God is a living being. And when sin does hurt God, God has feelings. Yes, God has feelings. All of them know that. And it grieved him to his heart. That grief means that, in other words, God was very, very upset what God, what um, the people have corrupted themselves. You understand? Now he's very upset what Lucifer and his angels have done. Yes, God is certain about that too. Yes, God is a God of feelings. All that thing, God is a God of stone. A stone has no feeling. Well, God is not, so he's a bean. All you will see that through all the scriptures. 
in case that's our next video by itself where I'll go into depth of that but for now we are dealing with Dan Barker and his foolish nonsensical book that need to be dumped in the dustbin, dust, dust the garbage dump, the dumpster where it belongs. I'm instructing you all to put it there and hold on to the Bible, the words of God, Genesis, the Revelation. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ and the synastics and the atheists, Richard Dawkins, I mean Dan Barker, as a like his British colleague, Richard Dawkins have put out a silly book in the public. He have put out a silly book called Delusion. Well, that book too is a silly book he have put out in the public domain. And I'm instructing every boys and girls, mothers and parents, do the right and the and the decent thing. Do not buy that book to give to all your children. And do not read that book to all your children. Your holy children will not benefit anything. Take the holy words of the Bible and read in the book of Genesis where God said in the beginning where God created the moon, the stars, the planet where God created Adam and Eve. Read that to all the children. Read about Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. About Sarah. Read in the New Testament. Read the words of God. Not that silly foolish book. Why did not instruct you all to put it in the garbage dump in the, in, in, in the dustbin? And you know, that book, in spite of a silly, foolish, nonsensical book, you know that book will get a lot of publicity and a lot of fame all over the world and it will be selling hot bread on Amazon on eBay and a lot of people will gravitate that book and cherish that book because you see, they are in ignorance. That's the Dan Parker. Brothers and sisters, and if the blind lead the blind, they will both fall in a, in a ditch. Yes, you see, Dan Barker also have his cliques, his cliques, his cliques are followers because he's very popular in the, in, in the, in the international community. He's a debater. Eh? He appears on TV show on radio shows, a lot of autographs, so he have a lot of fans. And all the fans that believe him, they are part of his cliques, who are in ignorance as less he. They don't believe in the Bible as as he, they embrace atheism, they are, in, they, are, they are accepting the false teachings that he's given them. Understand? And I'm warning you all about that, instructing you all that. I do not want you all to go the wrong way. So I'm instructing you all to go the right way. Hold on to the words of God, the Bible, the holy words of God. And I'm warning you all. They say how oh, Dan Baca read the Bible and he's questioning God why God should do this and God should not do that. He play any more intelligent than God. He finding fault with God. When you all read the Bible and you all do not understand anything. No, sorry. When any of when any one of you when all read the Bible and do not understand the things that all read in the Bible, let's leave it there. Pray that God one day will reveal the understanding to you all. What you all read and God give you all the understanding, move to the next chapter. If all of you read that a text in Isaiah and you all do not understand, let's leave that day and move to the next chapter. Dan Baker didn't do that. Dan Baker, he read the scriptures and he didn't understand. What God was doing and using through the his people, the children of Israel, and he find fault. Oh, God should not God had no right to instruct the children of Israel. Joshua to go and kill all the Amalekites or to kill all the, the different tribes. He's saying that is wrong. And God was doing a wrong thing. And God was committing in Genesis Genesis. Um genocide to the people. So they was committing murder on a mass scale. You see the foolishness on you? He read it, he read the text and he do not understand what he's reading. I do not want you all to do that like what he have done. If you anything you all read in the Bible and do you all do understand it, do not understand it, let's leave it there and go to the next chapter. I'm warning you all concerning that. Alright. Warning you all concerning that. And I don't want you all parents to buy that book. Take all your hard earned cash to buy that book to give to read it to all the children and to read it and give all the children that, 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 that foolish book that he have put out in the public domain. That book is a full of nonsense and nonsensical foolishness in it. He just keep using that book to blaspheme the Bible and to criticize the Bible, to say the Bible is not a book of sense and it's a book of fiction and it's a book of lie, a book of mythology and all kind of flimsy excuse. And I'm warning you all, do not buy that book. There's nothing decent, noble, and pretty about that book. Everything that that book that he have put out is ugly. Uh, that book is ugly. And here the title that he have, here the title that he have given to the book. God 
the most the god the most unpleasant character in all fiction god is the most pleasant the most pleasant character person throughout the universe and throughout eternity is god but you see he doesn't know that the most pleasant character person because god is a person of being the most pleasant character person throughout the universe and forever and ever throughout eternity is god but you see dan, dan barker do not know that and that's why therefore he, he has wrote this silly book this silly foolish nonsensical book that need to be in the dumpster and it will to stay in the dumpster i do not want you all to buy that nonsensical foolish book of, book on that book of stupidity to bring it in all your home no no to read it to to to, 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 to kick that book out all your home and hold on to the bible the words of god you see what the bible man holy bible ah that is pleasant but you see that book god the most unpleasant character in all fiction is silly and foolish and you all need to throw that book away from all your lives a million miles and do not embrace it at all i will not be buying it either read it i'm trying i have no interest to get in a copy of it because i don't know the foolishness on his part that he have put in that book i want to make that book to be ex respected amongst the masses of the people so that the masses of the people must buy that book and accept that book and see it's a respectable book it is a good book and that book should be accepted everywhere in the society in the town in the homes in the towns in the village in the rural areas in the countryside in this in the province and in the city no that book should not be accepted neither in the town neither in the city neither in the rural areas neither in the countryside and neither in the nation that book should be banned from all countries you see that book should be banned from all countries because it's a foolish nonsensical book a book full of nonsensical and foolishness and stupidity in it and that also goes to the pub publisher too yes i'm not only speaking to dan i'm speaking to all of you all that are the hand and bringing out this book you all i'm speaking to you all too you all too have published that foolishness well let's take it this is what i'm saying to you all publishers you all and dan barker you all have supported him with that foolishness to publish that book to put it in the public domain well i am instructing all you all publishers it's true i will pray that god will forgive you all of you all yeah, because i love you all not because i'm speaking in that manner but i have to tell you all the writing and not mislead you all and therefore i eric braxton this little christian boy way down in trinidad and tobago i am warning parents and fathers and mothers everywhere do not buy that book to give to the younger generation the little children that is coming up to read that foolishness that he have put in that book i am instructing the parents the fathers and the mothers the whole to buy the bible the original king james bible to give to the sons and daughters so they will read what in the bible where jesus christ said to the little children suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not for such of the kingdom of heaven that's what the little children want to know that jesus christ cared for them and he want them to come to him so that he will bless them uh, but when you all read when you all do not give the, the children the bible to read so they will know what jesus christ say to bring the little children unto him to bless them and you all make the mistake and take that and buy that foolish nonsensical book that dan barker have put out in the public domain to give all the little children to read that book you all will be doing great damage to them and i do not want you all to do that great damage to them so therefore follow my instruction to the t to the letter will you all do that after all at the end of the day the end of the night the ball is in all the court you all have a choice to make at least i have instruct you all to do the writing to take that book and put it in the dumpster in the garbage dump where it belongs because there's nothing honorable about that book do you all get the facts now do you all understand where i'm coming out right so once again i hope you all follow my instruction to the t and to the letter in the mighty name of jesus christ the bible is it the bible is it the bible is the words of god and where with that foolish nonsensical book that you have put out in the public domain there's nothing honorable about that book 
Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.